the song of hiawatha by henry wadsworth longfellow section twenty one the white man's foot in his lodge beside a river close beside a frozen river sat an old man sad and lonely white his hair was as a snowdrift dull and low his fire was burning and the old man shook and trembled folded in his wabibayon in his tattered white skin wrapper hearing nothing but the tempest as it roared along the forest seeing nothing but the snowstorm as it whirled and hissed and drifted all the coals were white with ashes and the fire was slowly dying as a young man walking lightly at the open doorway entered red with blood of youth his cheeks were soft his eyes as stars in springtime bound his forehead was with grasses bound and plumed with scented grasses on his lips a smile of beauty filling all the lodge with sunshine in his hand a bunch of blossoms filling all the lodge with sweetness ah my son exclaimed the old man happy are my eyes to see you sit here on the mat beside me sit here by the dying embers let us pass the night together tell me of your strange adventures of the lands where you have travelled i will tell you of my prowess of my many deeds of wonder from his pouch he drew his peace-pipe very old and strangely fashioned made of red stone was the pipe-head and the stem a reed with feathers filled the pipe with bark of willow placed a burning coal upon it gave it to his guest the stranger and began to speak in this wise when i blow my breath about me when i breathe upon the landscape motionless are all the rivers hard as stone becomes the water and the young man answered smiling when i blow my breath about me when i breathe upon the landscape flowers spring up o'er all the meadows singing onward rush the rivers when i shake my hoary tresses said the old man darkly frowning all the land with snow is covered all the leaves from all the branches fall and fade and die and wither for i breathe and lo they are not from the waters and the marshes rise the wild goose and the heron fly away to distant regions for i speak and lo they are not and where'er my footsteps wander all the wild beasts of the forest hide themselves in holes and caverns and the earth becomes as flint stone when i shake my flowing ringlets said the young man softly laughing showers of rain fall warm and welcome plants lift up their heads rejoicing back unto their lakes and marshes come the wild goose and the heron homeward shoots the arrowy swallow sing the bluebird and the robin and where'er my footsteps wander all the meadows wave with blossoms all the woodlands ring with music all the trees are dark with foliage while they spake the night departed from the distant realms of waben from his shining lodge of silver like a warrior robed and painted came the sun and said behold me Jesus, the great sun behold me then the old man's tongue was speechless and the air grew warm and pleasant and upon the wigwam sweetly sang the bluebird and the robin and the stream began to murmur and a scent of growing grasses through the lodge was gently wafted and segwun the youthful stranger more distinctly in the daylight saw the icy face before him it was peboan the winter from his eyes the tears were flowing as from melting lakes the streamlets and his body shrunk and dwindled as the shouting sun ascended till into the air it faded till into the ground it vanished and the young man saw before him on the hearthstone of the wigwam where the fire had smoked and smouldered saw the earliest flower of springtime saw the beauty of the springtime saw the miskodeed in blossom thus it was that in the northland after that unheard-of coldness that intolerable winter came the spring with all its splendour all its birds and all its blossoms all its flowers and leaves and grasses sailing on the wind to northward flying in great flocks like arrows like huge arrows shot through heaven past the swan the manabezi 
speaking almost as a man speaks and in long lines waving bending like a bowstring snapped asunder came the white goose wabe wawa and in pairs or singly flying mang the loon with clangorous pinions the blue heron the shushuga and the grouse the mushkadasa in the thickets and the meadows piped the bluebird the owaisa on the summit of the lodges sang the robin the opechi in the covert of the pine trees cooed the pigeon the omemi and the sorrowing hiawatha speechless in his infinite sorrow heard their voices calling to him went forth from his gloomy doorway stood and gazed into the heaven gazed upon the earth and waters from his wanderings far to eastward from the regions of the morning from the shining land of waban homeward now returned iagu the great traveller the great boaster full of new and strange adventures marvels many and many wonders and the people of the village listened to him as he told them of his marvellous adventures laughing answered him in this wise ah oh, it is indeed iagu no one else beholds such wonders he had seen he said a water bigger than the big sea-water broader than the gitchigumi bitter so that none could drink it at each other looked the warriors looked the women at each other smiled and said it cannot be so Cah! they said it cannot be so o'er it said he o'er this water came a great canoe with pinions a canoe with wings came flying bigger than a grove of pine trees taller than the tallest tree-tops and the old men and the women looked and tittered at each other Cah! they said we don't believe it from its mouth he said to greet him came waiwasimo the lightning came the thunder anamiki and the warriors and the women laughed aloud at poor iagu Cah! they said what tales you tell us in it said he came a people in the great canoe with pinions came he said a hundred warriors painted white were all their faces and with hair their chins were covered and the warriors and the women laughed and shouted in derision like the ravens on the tree-tops like the crows upon the hemlocks Gah! they said what lies you tell us do not think that we believe them only hiawatha laughed not but he gravely spake and answered to their jeering and their jesting true is all iagu tells us i have seen it in a vision seen the great canoe with pinions seen the people with white faces seen the coming of this bearded people of the wooden vessel from the regions of the morning from the shining land of waban gitche manito the mighty the great spirit the creator sends them hither on his errand sends them to us with his message wheresoe'er they move before them swarms the stinging fly the amo swarms the bee the honey-maker wheresoe'er they tread beneath them springs a flower unknown among us springs the white man's foot in blossom let us welcome then the strangers hail them as our friends and brothers and the heart's right hand of friendship give them when they come to see us gitche manito the mighty said this to me in my vision i beheld too in that vision all the secrets of the future of the distant days that shall be i beheld the westward marches of the unknown crowded nations all the land was full of people restless struggling toiling striving speaking many tongues yet feeling but one heart-beat in their bosoms in the woodlands rang their axes smoked their towns in all the valleys over all the lakes and rivers rushed their great canoes of thunder then a darker drearier vision passed before me vague and cloud-like i beheld our nation scattered all forgetful of my counsels weakened warring with each other saw the remnants of our people sweeping westward wild and woeful like the cloud-rack of a tempest like the withered leaves of autumn end of section twenty one